I'm Sarah Hashimaris from the Los Angeles Times. The brother of eight-year-old stabbing victim Layla Fowler was arrested on suspicion of murder following a two-week-long manhunt through Northern California that left residents of Calaveras County on edge and with many unanswered questions. The search was initially for a tall, gray-haired man the 12-year-old said he saw running from the Valley Springs home before he said he discovered his sister's body. Though details on the brother or a possible motive remain scarce at at this point, the community's reaction to the grisly multiple stabbing death of a little girl takes center stage in an investigation that has gained national attention. Times writer Kate Mather joins me with more. Kate, so tell me a bit about the community reaction. Right, well you have to keep in mind that this is a very small community uh, southeast of Sacramento. There's about 7,500 residents, so it's very rural, very tight-knit place to be. When we had reporters there after Layla's death, everyone was rattled. It was hard for them to imagine how someone could do this to an eight-year-old girl. Um, and they were very on edge about, you know, is there someone running loose in their community? Should they be afraid? They had many questions going into this. And um, when our colleague Diana Markham was there uh, over the weekend after news of the arrest, she described the town as again a, a place that was reeling and confused by the news that they heard because now in addition to this crime that was very hard for them to believe in the first place um, it was hard news to to hear that it was a 12 year old brother who was arrested on suspicion of of the murder now is there any sort of reaction from the community in terms of well the police should have maybe looked at the 12 year old boy first as a potential suspect uh, the understanding that we have is that um, people were maybe piecing together things on their own. They were they were thinking, you know, some people told Diana, you know, the story didn't quite add up in my mind. They had a lot of questions about um, the boy's account as reported by authorities. And so what sh her understanding was is that people had those questions. They just didn't want to say them out loud. And then after news of the arrest came, people were more forthcoming and saying, well, we thought something was strange about this all along. Sure. Now, this community was uh, hit hard by this news. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they, they put together donations mm -hmm. uh, for the family. Can you mm -hmm. tell me a bit about that? Yeah. By all accounts, there was an outpouring of support for the family after this happened. You know, they, there were hundreds of people at a candlelight vigil for Layla. Um, there were, you know, ribbons tied to her fence at school. The community came together and offered some donations to the family. Sure. And then um, what do we know about the family of Layla Fowler? Not much. Um, we know that there's several kids in the family. Um, we know that it's a blended family situation with maybe some step siblings and step parents involved. Um, but the family is actually issuing a statement tomorrow, uh, which is something that the sheriff's office announced today. And so maybe there would be some more clarity about um, their perspective on things or their interactions with, with what's been going on. Be sure to keep up with the ongoing investigation on LATimes.com and on Twitter at LATimes.